All right, y'all. Today, I want to go over step-by-step step the Ethereum scalping strategy that I used in order to long Ethereum right here, short Ethereum right here, long Ethereum right here. And while I was in this long, I was also able to take a little tiny short scalp right here. If we zoom in, go to a lower time frame of the six minute, take this little short scalp right here. Now, these are all trades that I've taken. Um, I'll go through, I'll show you my, my Bybit uh, open closed positions and all that. But what I want to do today is I want to walk you through how to find these trade entries. Because a lot of people, they see me post trades and they're like, yeah, right, is this guy's not really long in the top and short, you know, shorting the top and long in the bottom. There's no way. Guys, there is a way. There is a way. All it takes is a little basic technical analysis and an indicator called market cipher, which will show you if the price is about to pivot when we come to a significant level. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Now, first of all, I need to preface this by saying this is absolutely not financial advice. None of this is financial advice, guys. This is for entertainment purposes only. But I will say this. If you are newer to trading, if you're struggling to be profitable, this does take time and effort to learn, guys. It takes time and effort. It will take a lot of work to get to the point where you are able to find these trade setups. But I guarantee that if you are willing to put in the time and work, you can become more successful than you are right now. So be encouraged if you find yourself struggling. And if you don't find yourself struggling, well, then there ain't no need for you to watch this video. You go watch the other videos on my channel. So let's start with the long position that I entered yesterday, this long right here, as Ethereum was breaking out of this important level of resistance. How did I know that we were going to break out after consolidating here for so long? How did I know we were going to break out here? Well, in my Discord yesterday where I post technical analysis updates as well as sometimes trade setups and sometimes my exact entries, I said yesterday that I just opened a long on Ethereum uh, as we were breaking out of that resistance. And if we take a look, ETH was looking super bullish as we broke out of that important 382 resistance. Money flow and momentum was coming up on the one hour. So this was a breakout trade. A breakout trade is where an asset breaks above a level of resistance that it's been rejecting off multiple times and then has a massive move to the upside. So if you have market cipher, we can actually tell if an asset is about to break out or if it's going to be a fake out. Now we can't always tell, but sometimes it's ab abundantly obvious. And this is one of those times where it was abundantly obvious. If we go to the one hour time frame and we zoom out here, we can see that Ethereum had just come down, had a little dump about, let's see, from the high here to the low, about a almost 10% dump. And what happened was we were consolidating. If we pull out our good friend Fibonacci, which I like to do, and we pull that thing from the swing low to the swing high, and we just go ahead and turn on important fib level right here. We can see that we were consolidating right on the point 236 Fibonacci level, and we were bouncing in between the 382 of this fib pull and the 236 of this fib pull. While we were consolidating and trading sideways, what's happening to market cipher? We can see on the one hour time frame, we print this juicy anchor wave. Then we come up and we print this juicy trigger wave. And then we come up again and we print an even more juicy trigger wave. And then we get a money flow crossover. Okay. If you ever see an asset trading sideways like this, while at the same time market cipher is ramping up, showing you that we have anchor trigger, trigger, money flow crossing over. We can even clearly see, if we go to a lower time frame, like maybe the 24 minute here, we can clearly see that money is coming back into the asset. If we just notice that as we start to, as we're continuing to consolidate, the money flow goes from purple to blue. Now, if anybody's unfamiliar with market cipher and money flow and momentum waves and anchors and triggers and Fibonacci's and supports and resistances, here's what I recommend. I recommend you check out jasoncaspertrading.com. This is my trading course, and the goal of this course is to give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become 
a confident, profitable trader. We're assuming you've never even traded before, but this is good for people, complete beginners, people who are struggling, people who just want to go back and relearn technical analysis and all this. Check out the testimonials. This is really changing the way people approach the charts. But we go through everything from technical analysis, time frame, support and resistance, trend lines, moving averages, volume, Fibonacci, uh, stop loss, take profits. We go through Market Cipher. I think there's six sessions on Market Cipher right now. Um, going through all the different indicators, how you can use them all together to really find those good trade setups, teaching you how to create and test your own strategy, teaching you risk management so that even if you're not the best trader, and even if you're losing the majority of your trades, if you have a good risk management strategy in place, you can still be profitable over time. So as we are coming down, consolidating here, you can see momentum is ramping up. Money is coming back into the asset. And that's how we know we're going to break out of here. If we go down to the six-minute time frame, right before we break out, we print something called a bullish divergence, where price is making a lower low, while momentum is making a higher low on market cipher B. And you know, right on the money flow crossover, that's where I entered the trade. And uh, boom, we just exploded up from there, exploded up from there. And that, um, that was a really nice trade. We hit our take profit one, which uh, was the golden pocket, the Fibonacci golden pocket. That was our take profit one that we hit perfectly. The next target was the 786 Fib level, which we hit perfectly. And then the third and final target was the daily level at $2,710. And we hit that daily level pretty much perfectly. And uh, that's where we started looking for short trades. And that uh, that trade there, it was, um, that trade eventually was up 97%. My entry was 2550 and I did take profits out at uh, 2679 That was my last take profit. And then we started looking for shorts, guys. And that's where I entered this short. I entered this short right up here. Uh, the reason why we entered the short is because we came up to, this is important, but we came up to a daily level of resistance. This daily level, this was the, the next take profit of the long. And yeah, we did take a little scalp as soon as we hit the level, but then what happened is we started to come above the level. And as we're coming above this daily level of resistance, notice what's happening to market cipher. This is the six minute time frame. As the price is getting higher and higher, momentum is getting lower. Money flow is getting lower, means money is leaving the asset. Not only that, but we can see the VWAP is starting to print lower highs. As, we, as price is pumping. This tells us that there's an imbalance and there needs to be a correction here because Bitcoin is, I'm sorry, Ethereum is trading at an overvalued price because think about it logically. If money is leaving an asset and momentum is coming down and the volume weighted average price is coming down yet the price continues to pump up, that means there needs to be a correction. Right? That, that means there needs to be a correction, and that correction will be downward. And so we entered the short trade, and this was actually a trade setup I had posted Monday in my Discord under potential Ethereum trade setups, where Monday I was looking at potential trades. Um, let's see if I can find the one I was looking for. When was Monday? Right here. This is the potential trade setup that I was looking for. If we came up above the daily level of 27.10 and we printed bearish divergences on Market Cipher, I was going to short this. I, I posted this in advance on Monday. We entered the trade on Wednesday, two days later. And that's exactly what we got. If we go back to our chart here, we can see that we came up above 27.10 and we were indeed getting bearish divergences. And even if we go to the two hour time frame, we can see a massive bearish divergence that uh, happened as price was making higher, price was making higher highs, and momentum and money flow and VWAP was all coming down, right? And so when we lost that level of 2710, I posted in the discord over here, let's get rid of this poop emoji thing. Last night I posted this short entry 
right? Replying to the original post, this short entry is looking nice. I'm short here. Because of the momentum, I will be locking profit early and then using the real take profit target. So we all, well, not we all, but a lot of people, when I posted this, we shorted right here. And we hit take profit one. Boom. And then we hit take profit two. Boom. Perfectly hit take profit two. Now, when we hit took take profit two, this is where the long trade uh, happens. So we hit, we got this this short up 83% right and so so far now we've longed ethereum and that first long was up quite a bit i was using some leverage here guys and then we shorted and that trade again a pretty nice trade and then a perfect long presented itself a perfect long presented itself and um let's see where's that long i'm not sure um, exactly where I have that long but if we go back to my TA channel we can see that after we hit our take profits we're starting to notice um, okay so we got the bearish dis we took the short when we did take the short this morning when I woke up I noticed that um, well the first thing I saw when I woke up was this okay I saw this I saw price had pumped, we took the long. Price had dumped, we took the short. We hit two take profits. We came up for a little bounce. The reason we got this little bounce right here, guys, is because we were printing a hidden bullish divergence on Market Cipher B, where the price from this green dot right here made a higher low, and then momentum was making a lower low. So we had a little hidden bullish divergence that played out here. And basically, my idea for this morning was if, and I posted this right here, I said, I'm keeping an eye out for regular bullish divergences for a nice bounce as we come down into the Fibonacci golden pocket. So what I wanted to see was I wanted to see price coming down to this golden pocket right here, about 2,556. I wanted to see momentum printing a higher low. Okay, so we have our initial anchor wave right here on Market Cipher B. I wanted to see us come and print a trigger wave, a higher wave than this initial anchor wave while price was still coming down. Okay, and that's actually exactly what did happen here. If we take a look, we did come down into that golden pocket, and if we look at this um, this chart right here, how did I pull that golden pocket? I pulled it from this swing low here to this swing high up here. Okay, price came right down into that golden pocket. If we go to the 24 minute time frame, what do we see? We see price was making a lower low as momentum was making a higher low right boom off to the horse races and that was a an awesome awesome trade um you know i locked in a lot of profit with that trade um you know i do i do i even have the the entry and the take profit i must somewhere i'm actually still in that i'm still in that long trade so let me check right here that trade is currently up 151 percent 151 percent let me uh actually show you guys right now here's the trade entry right here as we were getting the bounce out of the golden pocket. Um, here was my last place I took profit, up 151%. And while we were longing that trade, I also took a short scalp from right up here. Why did I take a short scalp from right up here? Well, it was because we had a wick that wicked up to this level right here. And, um, I thought to myself, well, if we start to print bearish divergences here, it's very possible that we just take out this high, grab some liquidity, and then come back down for a little retracement. And what happened was, if we take a look at a time frame such as the 18 minute, or actually, let's take a look at maybe even the nine minute. Actually, this is not a, a good, such a good example, but we can see still, even on the nine minute, that 
as price is making the higher high right here, momentum is making a lower high, money flow is coming down, presented us with a great opportunity to enter a little scalp short. So I did, I entered a little scalp short right here. Um, you know, it was a nice 2% move and that trade was, I locked in some profit on that. Um, yeah, I locked in some profit on that. Was that this trade? No, that couldn't have been that trade. Let's see. Where did I enter that? Probably 2791 ish. Uh, well, actually, that one I, I have in my Discord over here where I shouldn't have been trading. I was doing stuff with the family, but when we lost that level, got the bearish divergences, locked in some profit right there. My entry was 2790, took profit at 2749. A nice 29% gain there. And currently, guys, I'm out of this short scalp. I'm still in my long, but I'm looking for another short. I'm looking for another short. Why am I looking for a short right now? The reason I'm looking for a short right now is because, is because, if we just take a look at what's happening, uh, Ethereum keeps on pumping and pumping. It keeps on pumping and pumping. And it lo look at the four hour, right? It looks like we are about to really start printing a, a massive bearish divergence, right? Massively bearishly diverging as price continues to come up. Momentum continues to come down. If we go to the two hour, look at this, guys. Look at this bearish divergence we could potentially print right here. As price is pumping and momentum is momentum is a dumping, right? As long as this this wave right here doesn't come up higher than this first one, that's still giving us a bearish divergence. And if we even go down to the lower time frames, like the half hour time frame, let's say, we can see the bearish divergence is forming, right? Already. We see money flow coming down. We see this momentum wave about to cut off here. I'm looking to get into another short. Those are levels that I have posted in my Discord where I'm actually specifically looking to short from. If you're interested in getting into the Discord, you can do that by going to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. There is a link in the description of this video. Also, guys, if you want to get that course, there's an $80 discount in the description of the video. Also, if you want Market Cipher, I do have an affiliate link in the description. It would help me out if you use the link. If you don't have a Bybit account and you want one or you want a second one, it would also help me out if you use my affiliate link. That's all, guys, for this video. I just wanted to make a quick update, kind of showing you guys how I find these trade setups because it's not the same every time. Sometimes it's a breakout. Sometimes it's a rejection. Sometimes it's a bounce. We're always looking for different things. And if you know what to look for, you can do this. And if you have good risk management, you can absolutely do this. All right, guys. God bless, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.